All right, thanks so much for joining. And now we're going to walk through creating cupcake toppers with Microsoft Word. I do have two additional videos on YouTube, uh, creating circular printable tags with PowerPoint and creating tags and printables with Microsoft Word. In these videos, I go through some of the basics, such as installing new fonts, working with the rulers and the grid lines, uh, things that I'm not going to cover in today's topic. Okay, these are all new techniques that are primarily used for cupcake to toppers or more circular tabs. So the first thing I'm going to do to recreate this Captain Cole is insert a new shape, and I want to select a circle. And again, I'm kind of eyeballing this. Um, as I mentioned in prior videos, I walked through um, using rulers and grid lines in order to ensure that you have the correct uh, shape and it's symmetrical. So what I did was I just did a shape fill and a shape outline. I ensured the object was selected and I did the shape fill and the shape outline for red. Now all I'm gonna do is layer shapes upon shapes. So I'm gonna right click and copy. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste. And I'm gonna format this and do a shape fill of white and a shape outline of white. I'm gonna go to the edge of the corner of the object and move it up, okay? And from here, once again, I'm gonna layer. I'm gonna copy and I'm going to paste. And once again, I'm gonna format, do a shape fill of red and a shape outline of red. Once again, I'm gonna to go to the corner, drag and change the shape. Finally, I want to add the blue center. Once again, I want to copy and paste, and I want to format and do a shape fill of blue. Now, if this blue wasn't in one of these standard colors, you might have to click on more fill colors. Here, you can go ahead and select from some standard colors or create any derivation of color with the custom color. Okay. Once again, we're going to go do a shape outline of that blue and make this small. Okay. Again, this isn't perfect. I just want to show you the basic techniques. Okay. Next, I want to do is layer once again another shape. And this time I want to use the star. I'm a big fan of using the Microsoft shapes, and I use them for um, pretty much all of my printables. So we're going to go ahead and select the star. And it's already white, which is great. Now we have to create this Captain Cole. So what we want to do is insert a text box, and we want to draw a text box. And we're going to go ahead and draw that right over the top. Now clearly, um, you can't see the rest of the printable or the rest of the cupcake topper we created, so we want to format that and do a no fill on the text box and a shape outline of no outline. From here, cool, I think I misspelled that. Um, well, we'll take a look when we change the color and we can actually see it. We want to go ahead and change the color to yellow and let's change the font to bada boom. Again, in my prior videos, I walked through how to change or add custom fonts. And then from here, we wanna go ahead and center this. I have an extra eye in there. Now, as you can see here, the captain and the coal are kind of far apart. So there's a problem with our line spacing. So we wanna to go to line spacing options. And from here, we wanna ensure this is set to zero and the line spacing is set to single. Now, if we want to click on here to center this, hold down the control key and move the arrows down. And that's gonna allow you to, do, to move that around in a very fine grained fashion. From here, we have two options to get the colors right or to get the shadow. The first of which is we can copy and paste and we can make this text box. Actually, let's make the bottom one bl black. and make that black. And then we can just hover or move one on top. That's one way to get a more exaggerated shadow. But what we wanna do is what I have highlighted here within this particular document. What I wanna do is highlight the text, right click and click on font. When I click on font, you can engrave, emboss, shadow, a number of things, and I happen to use the engrave, okay? Now let's go ahead and create this BAM. Really what I wanna show you here is how you can get this border. First thing I wanna do is start with a general circle, do a shape outline, 
and weight, I want to change to 15. And you could put this number to anything you want, depending on the thickness. What I want to do now is right click, copy this and paste. And let's go ahead and move this up. Okay. And layer it right on top, click on format. And again, this is my second circle. I want to change the color to red and I want to change the weight outline to circles, to squares, to dashes, whatever you want. For this, I have the square outline. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and add our image of BAM. In my other videos, I do quite a bit with um, images and downloading different images and the differences between PNGs and GIFs and JPEGs. And I'll actually have another video where I go into even more detail. So please take a look at those if you want more information on images. But we're going to just do a search for BAM. And we're going to click on images and here is our image. We're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to save image as. And we're going to save it as bam.jpg. And yes, let's replace it. From here, we want to insert our picture. And let's go ahead and click our bam. Okay, so from here, we have the ability to make this bigger or smaller. And what I wanna point out here is that I can't really move this around very easily. And that's because we need to format and change the text wrapping. Right now it's in line with text, so it's waiting for you to write text into your document. So what we want to do is put this in front of text or behind text. Since we don't have text, we can go ahead and put it in front of text. We want to drag and drop it down to here. And we can see that we have these white lines. Again, in my other videos, I talk about um, PNG files versus GIFs and JPEGs. Um, if you don't want those white lines, you want the PNG. But what we want to do here is order and send to back. When I send it to back, I'm saying that I want this outline to be in front. Now we can go through and change the brightness and change the contrast. Finally, I want to show you the technique of filling. So we have all these little elephants here. Um, let's say I'm doing a baby shower and I want blue elephants cartoon as sort of the theme. I can go ahead and click on my images and here's the actual image that I want. I can right click and I can save image as and I want to save it. Okay. Now, if I were to format I can do a shape fill. I can fill it with a gradient or I can fill it with a pattern, which I talked about in other videos, or I can fill it with a texture. I can fill it with one of these textures or I can load any other texture. Now, when I just loaded the elephant, it's really big. So what I need to do is I need to open up paint and I need to open my elephant and I need to resize, and let's make this 10% of its normal size. And let's just go ahead and save that. Okay. Now, when I do a shape fill, texture, more texture, I can select my elephant, and I have this. And then from here, all you need to do is insert a shape, change the background, and you can insert a text box to do your um, it's a boy. And once again, no fill and no outline. Okay. I do have um, a few websites. I have the do it yourself blog or do it yourselfers blog about parties, crafts, decor, and more. I have a lot of um, free printables that I've created. I also have a baby shower website. Uh, that has a lot of free printables as well as videos and links to the tutorials I've already created. I hope you found this useful and please like me or like the video if you found it useful. Thanks so much.